1989, the ultimate downfall of communism. Poland enjoys the first democratic government in Eastern Europe. In Russia, the Jews get ready to leave for Israel. Several countries are asked to help with that operation, codenamed Most, or the Bridge, to secure safe passage to Israel. All of them, all of the countries, refuse to help, fearing retaliation from the Islamic extremists. Finally, the Polish authorities decide to assist the Operation Bridge with a stopover in Poland. The Arab terrorist organization starts threatening with retaliation against Polish citizens and Polish diplomatic posts. A few months later, submachine gunfire from Kalashnikov seriously injures a Polish diplomat in Beirut. The Polish government decides to establish a special military unit with the task to protect Poles against terrorists and to free hostages. Meanwhile, the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein invades Kuwait. This puts several CIA and DIA agents in a very difficult position. For months before, they had monitored the movements of the Iraqi troops at the Kuwait border, pretending to be tourists. Now they cannot count on their own U.S. Embassy because the U.S. Embassy personnel do not know anything about their secret mission. The special forces of the U.K. and France are too busy evacuating their own citizens to help the American agents. Again, the Polish intelligence offers help. The Poles manage to locate the Americans, get Polish passports for them, and get them safely out to Turkey, alongside the Polish employees of companies contracted in Iraq. On the fifth anniversary of this spectacular operation, a mysterious car crash kills a Polish intelligence operator in Beirut. The press suggests revenge for saving the American spies. The operation in Iraq was led by a Polish intelligence officer, Gromosław Czempiński. The first four letters of his Christian name, G-R-O-M, form the name of the newly established special unit Grom. Grom, by the way, means thunder in Poland. Four years later, the US President Bill Clinton asks President Wałęsa to send Polish troops to Haiti. Within the international operation called the Restoration of Democracy, 55 Polish soldiers of the Grom unit are transported to the island. Their task is to protect representatives of the US government, NATO and the United Nations, including the UN General Secretary Special Envoy Mr. Lachdar Brahimi. The Haitian opposition offered a higher reward for killing the man. During the mission in Haiti, the Polish soldiers saved lives, saved the lives of 26 persons, including two Americans. The last time I was in Haiti, I met with the American forces there. Very I also met with the Polish forces. It was a very, very professional and very effective force, and the United States greatly appreciates the support we have had from Poland right from the very beginning. Grom is the first Polish military. promotes to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, the commanding officer of the two green berets decorated at the ceremony. A year ago, the Grom troops were transported to Eastern Slavonia, the Serbian enclave in Croatia. 
within the framework of international United Nations mission. They are supposed to monitor the abeyance and observation of the Dayton Agreement. Apart from that, they are to protect high-ranking commanding officers and representatives of NATO. There has been a spectacular operation, an operation without a single shot being fired in which Polish troops arrested a war criminal sought by the Hague Tribunal. If we had had another war criminal here, we would have asked them to do the same thing. They caught Mr. Dogmanovich just before I arrived here. And everyone I have talked to said again, they were as professional as you could, have, could imagine. They know how to do their job. They really do. The arrested man is the Serbian former mayor of the town of Vukovar, Slavko Dukmanovic. He is suspected to be responsible for the murder of the 260 Croatian citizens in a hospital. The special military unit Grom was established thanks to the help of the United States. Citizens who will get into jeopardy can always count on the soldiers from Grom who can always cooperate with special forces from any of the NATO countries. The task of Grom, apart from the typical military operations such as subversive or reconnaissance actions, is to free persons held hostage by terrorists. And all the activities uh, they had to do to izvršili na visokoj razini. They do it on a higher level. Vrlo profesionalno. Very professionally. I nije ni jednog trenutka dolazilo u sumnju da li će oni biti sposobni da izvrše tu zadaću. And uh, we never uh, suspect will this be done or not.